What is up, Liger Pack? Great to have you here again. And today we are going to be talking about Ethereum. More specifically, I'm going to be showing you five different websites that give you very valuable information regarding Ethereum and its ecosystem. So let's get started without further ado. So the very first thing we have here is called gasnow.org. And some people use the ETH gas station, but that is a lot more inaccurate website they stopped showing the dollar sums as well which to me is a form of censorship i think they're just trying to kind of like prevent the negative outlook on the massive gas fees or something like that and also their numbers are not really as accurate as on the sparks pool which their this feed is basically coming from and i just like the interface a lot more it's giving us the rapid fast standard and slow the minute estimates and also the dollar value and the GUI value. Also, it shows us the pending transactions right now and what um, is the GUI sum of those transactions basically. And you can see there's even a one transaction we have with 3,700 GUI. Some crazy dude probably did that, but uh, yeah, somebody just, I don't know how much, there's probably thousands in actual costs actually guys. So huge, huge sum. And also what I like about here is that you can kind of like see the rapid and the fast here, like a bit of like a chart and you can filter this by latest block or the last 10 minutes, what's going on. And also what I really like about this is the average gas pay, gas pay on each hour. And there's obviously hours when you're going to be seeing on certain weekdays, as you can see Sunday was very low gas fee. And is that going to be repeating itself? And you can see Monday here between on the morning, my time, um, it's, or actually in the night, I guess. No, actually, this is morning. Never mind about it. So in the morning, you, you can see like a very, very, very low uh, gas fees, but you can see like uh, 3 o'clock, it's like 410. So you can actually find the best times when the gas, fee, gas fees are lowest and do the trades then. And these types of charts are very, very useful in my opinion to kind of like combat it because when you know, whatever it's 115 versus 200, there is like, I don't know, 20 bucks difference between certain transactions when it comes to those sums. So you want to save every penny. And it also comes out as a Mac app, app widget, and also a shortcut. I don't know what that is. That's some sort of Chinese thing. Um, but this is the first one we're going to be uh, featuring here. So definitely a good one. Next up, we have TAC, and this is um, the first thing I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be um, changing my wallet and logging with MetaMask. Now, this is a tool that allows me to see what allowances I have done with my Ethereum address to certain specific dApps. Now, there might have been a time when somebody might have, you know, stolen money from you. Uh, without your knowing and there is a possibility that you might have actually given rights and approval for a certain application to spend your allowances unlimited meaning that a certain token can be can be spent unlimitedly by a certain uh, dApp basically now this is you can revoke these allowances from here on this dashboard obviously this is going to be costing you gas not so great with ethereum obviously but if anybody is going to be doing a fork out of this into another chain, for instance, or the layer two is some miraculous year coming out. I mean, at this point, Jesus resurrection seems more likely. <laughs> but um, this is, uh, I found this like literally yesterday. I found this very extremely interesting and informative uh, tool because I can just find like all of these tokens that I have given rights to. Sometimes you can give, some dApps give you uh, allowance to give a certain specific amount. So here, for example, it's given out like zero and that's an option on certain dApps, but this kind of gives you a bit of an idea which dApps you can interact with and which you have given basically rights to. And this is a, a good thing to kind of look through and see if there's something sketchy here that maybe needs to be changed or maybe I don't want to trade uh, this token anymore so I can switch it off. And if you have the money to do that, this is something you should definitely look into. But let's um, actually move on from here. And this, by the way, works on Robston as well, which is good. Uh, next up, we have Versal app, also another one that I literally found out today. And the way it works is you post, paste any Ethereum address and it basically gives you an idea on what airdrops you can basically claim. Now it will show me these two here. I already claimed these already. 
But basically, this is like a very easy tool to filter out Ethereum addresses and see whether they're eligible for certain types of airdrops. Now, this has many different things like better finance and uh, other things. And there is going to be uh, a lot more of these. And you can actually add your uh, email address. I could probably add that later on to be notified when you're going to be actually eligible for those drops. And if, if this coming to come out like immediately or something to your email, that's probably really helpful for you. So you can subscribe to those uh, information uh, tidbits. So this is something that I definitely think that um, has... Um, value for some people who have multiple addresses and you know when i just filter it out and then we have zapper which is basically a tool where you log in once again to see a bunch of different data this also shows the gas things not as accurately as gas now but this one basically shows you your wallet all the tokens that you hold in here um, your deposits in other different types of staking platforms. So today I found out, oh, I got 100 LRC loop ring here somewhere on some dab actually being staked right now and I didn't even remember it. And same for ZRX, I, I didn't remember I had this much and I thought I sold it. And here's a DYDX preparing for that airdrop thing. I did this very long time ago. And um, so, so I can view all of these deposits because these are not necessarily something that show up on your ether scan. And you have to like remember, oh, I had money here. Also, it will show you all the liquidity pools. So whatever I have money on Uniswap, I have money on DYDX, pool together, idle finance, or what is actually here? Okay. Um, Moody swap or, you know, balancer or whatever it may be you know, I can view it here and I can also interact with them. I can also exchange here. This is some type of an aggregator, might be one inch. I'm not completely sure what this got actually using underneath. Uh, probably some type of an aggregation tool. There's also the pools where you can look these and I can see the fees that I have earned for them. I don't have to go to that Uniswap page, which is sometimes um, it's not like best for the data. You kind of want to know like this gives you yearly and weekly data, which is very good. Um, you can reduce directly here from the um, from the pools. So you can remove them from the pools. And uh, by the way, I do have an individual review on Zapper on the channel, which goes more deeper into this stuff. And you can explore different things here as well and trending volumes. Then there's the farms and then there's the history, what has been done with your account. I love this feed very, very much as of right now. As you can see, I sold all of my RSR. 5x from what I bought it at, so I'm a very happy customer. But um, yeah, a lot of things here, a um, lot of data, very useful for many Ethereum users. And then finally, we have the very last one here, which is the ENS. And I also have an individual video on the ENS. This is basically, this is not a free service though. So ENS is something you can buy, so you can register your own .eth domain. And basically, this allows you to accept payments with that domain. So I might register uh, lightliger.eth, and then people can send me their Ethereum rewards to that name. Many wallets already support those transactions, so it filters out the uh, long string of the addresses, and you know it's, it's easier to receive payments, basically. And there's a lot of things. You can launch your own website, and there's things you can host, BDF files, and many DNS and stuff like that. There's a lot of things you can do with this, and I've covered a lot more in my individual review on, on, on the ENS, but um, what I'm trying to say here, this is another service that you might want to look into and maybe get some of these domain names here. And then they can be obviously sold um, on OpenSea, so you reserve a name and maybe you want to sell it and flip it er er afterwards. And as I said, there's a lot of wallets which currently support this uh, naming system. Pretty much everyone has it right now. I don't see Exodus here, though. Something that should definitely be here, one of my favorite wallets. And a lot of apps as well are supporting that. But I'm not going to blab any longer. Thanks for watching. And I will be seeing you guys on the next video, whenever it may be. And please consider sending me some Ethereum dips. Um, uh, tokens, whatever, if you like my work or I have made you some money, maybe you can say thanks to that. It's not necessary, obviously. But make sure you like and subscribe, obviously, for more content in the channel. I will be seeing you guys next time very soon. Cheers.